We have a goat loose here in the studio. <laughs> Lil Wayne's here, as always, on Fridays, 11.30 Eastern. <laughs> this week, you can also hear me on Wayne's podcast. That's on Apple Music One dropping today. Thank you. Enjoyed it. But right now, it is Wayne's world here on Undisputed, and we begin with another crazy, controversial <laughs> week of cowboy fallout. Thanks to the playoff annihilation we suffered at the hands of Wayne's beloved Packers. Seven weeks. Lord, how's it going to sink? A thousand and seven weeks. Now Jerry Jones says he's all in for next season. So, Wayne, will the cowgirls, as you want to call them, be better or worse next year? Skip. Queen gone. Mm. Honestly, I think they're going to be worse. I think they'll be worse next year because only because how great they were this year. I believe that they, you know what I mean? Even they, they didn't go where they wanted to, obviously, but they were great this year. Mm. They were great. Yep. They were great. They were great this year. Everybody did what they were supposed to do until it came down to the come down, which they always they do. It came down to the come yeah, down. Yeah, so I, don't, I, don't, I think next year they ain't going to even do I don't think they're going to go that far like that. Uh-huh. So you don't think they'll make the playoffs and that means it'd be in the Mike McCarthy and everything? Yeah, I think that is right there. I think you just wrote Thank the story you. right there. Yep. No, they're going to make the playoffs. They're not, they not going to be better. They're not going to be worse. They're basically going to be the same, which is making the playoffs. That's basically what they're going to be. They're going to be a playoff team. The, yeah. the Giants ain't going to be division. good. About Think about the it. Division. The Giants yeah. ain't going to Washington got a new coach, and the, they don't have a whole lot of players. And then Philadelphia, they're trying to figure it out. They went and got Kellen Moore and, and Vic Fanzio as the defensive coordinator. The Cowboys are going to be the same. They're just going to be, they're going to be the same team. Does that mean that they're going to win 10 and get in, 12 and get in? Somewhere in between, right, just, just remember, that's what's going to be. You, you got to do CD's deal. You got to do Micah's deal. You yeah. got to redo Dak's one of the deal. Best, one of the best you teams in the National Football that. League at manipulating yeah. the cap for many years is the Dallas Cowboys. I know, but the cap yeah. is ultimately the cap, and they've gotten fined for messing with yeah, the cap. Yeah, but they too. know how to do it, though. Yeah. They just do. They've yeah. always done a good job at know, figuring you, out how to manipulate it. Okay, but there's but only the so much magic you can work. You know, like, it's hard cap. Right. I, I get it, Skip, but we you say that all the time about it. Right, you know, like you, you're talking about, even like the Rams did. They went, went into some of that future money yeah. to break a Super Bowl right yeah. now, and I'm willing yeah. for the Cowboys go into some future. Yeah. Go into some future. Well, they went in the future money with y'all. With with, with, with Dion, they went in the future money. Well, 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 okay, 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 okay. Produce champions. Yes, and we produce champions. Yeah, so if they go and do that, yeah. If they want to do But I'm talking about like what we talked about the Rams. The Rams knew that they had this day coming when they were going yep. out getting all of those yeah. players. And that day came where they had to they they strip players and they had to strip Gave down. Away picks. They but they care. found even great things in the strip down, like Puka and all of those they guys. Did, did. So they still had a chance to bounce back. So, yeah, I want to spend some future money. And Jerry said yeah. we're going all in. That's why I said y'all going to be pretty yeah. much the same team. What about the defense? What you going to do about the court? Where the coordinator at? Mm. Yeah, there's, well, there's a couple good coordinators. Yeah, right we're going to find somebody, move, we'll find somebody to stop the run. Yeah, we want to do that, too. We got Al for the backside. We need somebody to stop that run. So we'll bring somebody in. I thought Michael Parsons and um, everybody on the deep. I thought they were supposed to stop the run, actually. Who? Who? Yeah. Who you say? Micah. Micah Parsons. Micah. Yeah. Seen it all. I've seen it all. Yeah. See, I got, I got a partner in crime with me now. See, he needs, I got, a, I got. A, he needs some <laughs> people to, to draw up the circles and just help him out. He can't consistently go through three dudes. It's just uh, odd to get three. Three like, ain't on him all the time, though, Michael. You, at least I'll let two. You slide. At least two. You slide with at least two. No, you don't know. You never Mike, see they one. They showed you. They showed you when they don't even. Sometimes they don't even block the man. They don't even block him. Yeah. They let him go it's right. Free. Yeah, he's right. They, they, they put him in the conflict. They put him in the conflict where he has to make it. You got to know how to figure that kind of thing. And, and, and you ask, decision. and now I need a coach to say, you know what? No more conflict. You just go hit the quarterback. Or you just go hit the running back. Yeah, hey, we've been saying that. You snap and go. Yeah, no, just have. snap yeah. and go. Where do you think they're going to be, Skip? <sighs> Unfortunately, this man's football team showed me what my football team is not. Because... In the game of the year, it's 27 to nothing before halftime. Mm-hmm. In the game of the year, we give up 48. That included a pick six thrown by Dak to Darnell Savage. Mm-hmm. But we give up 48 points at home as seven and a half point favorites over the youngest team in the National Football League. That's wrong, wrong, <laughs> and wronger. 
it, it's inconceivably wrong to the point that it made me sit back and say, OK, I accept it. You exposed us. You showed me what what we won't be next year because I I like Micah, but I can't love him anymore because I'm not sure he's that dude. I'm just think, not sure. I think you get somebody like okay. Sexy Rexy up in there. Okay. Yeah, well, I, think talk about it. It. Yeah, I think so, he get up right, in there. Right. Gonna, I think he'll right. be that right. guy that's going to tell Micah, right. uh, your job is just to go to Just okay. go do just the quarterback. And that's, right. his, that's, that, that, that's what yeah. we need. Somebody that just says, you go take this out. Now, and, and one thing. When you say his team show what the Cowboys yeah. were, I thought the 49ers show what the Cowboys were. Not, 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 not just in the game that they played. I'm talking about when they played Green Bay. Because the 49ers got down but didn't get down on who they are, and they stayed in that game and fought back. I, so, so Green Bay can put those points on anybody. Put them on the Cowboys, put them on the 49ers. The difference is right. the Cowboys didn't have the fight inside yeah. to say, let's stick to the plan and come back. And, and the 49ers did. Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. You guys can scoff if you want, but the words that echo in my psyche right now came from CD's mom, who said publicly, Dak ain't it. And you know she heard that from her son. He, he ain't it. And when I'm he talking about it, it you know, when I'm talking about it, that. we're talking about carrying us all the way home to a Super Bowl. Well, is he it? Well, I, I don't CD, think so. CD, Michael's still hanging CD, in. Lady, CD just waking put up, up in big morning. numbers this year and get ready to get no, a big paycheck. He, the, the mama, the mama knows football, call. those kids. Huh? CD what? didn't say that. The mom uh, knows football. She's been watching the son since Little League. Uh, the mom, I, listen, I, I, I don't want to talk about anybody's mother, but but <laughs> but, but the reality is... The man, mom, mom knows football, though, mom, Mike. your son just had a historical yeah. year. Yeah, with that guy. Yeah, about to get paid. that guy. And he's about to get paid a lot of money now. And, and, and listen, you can hey, find a whole lot a whole saying, lot worse quarterbacks, that's Mom. That's a way of saying get rid of Dak. Well, we're stuck, though. And you told me he's going to be there for 10 years. Yeah, mama, so mama, you say, mama, can we be better next year? How can mama we better? Can we go 12 mama, and 5 mama, again? Mama, yeah. oh, mama don't lie. No, no, no. Mama no, don't no. lie. She, well, you know, mama. you know Mama. They got that from somewhere. No. That's the whole thing. Mother knows football. Yeah. Girl. So she assuming it's him, the quarterback, because people like you and Skip, all y'all sit up and talk about is the quarterback failed, so therefore the team failed. How many times you've heard an athlete get on an interview or something and say, a tweet or whatever, and say, man, my mom, my mama told me after the game, yeah. I, right, I should have right, ran right, this right, route. Right, 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 moms right, know. Right, yep. right, my right, mother knew right, everything. Right, right, right. All right, we got to change the subject because up next, the Lakers with no LeBron, no AD, pull off the upset of the year in the NBA. So was it just a fluke or a building block? We'll ask this man, a big Laker fan, next. Mom don't know which way you're supposed to go. <laughs> Skip, I have never not seen him. I'm always seeing yeah. him as a championship contender no matter what. But now, of course, after seeing last night, I think everybody, not just, the most important one, I think the team saw what they can do without LeBron and mm -hmm. AD on the court. And obviously when they come back, hopefully they figure it out. You know, I heard the rotations, hopefully they yep. figure all that out. Also, I think it's a lot about confidence, like you said, um, having to think in that you have to defer to LeBron or AD when you got the ball instead of just doing what you, you giving your guy, giving talent. Because mm -hmm. yeah. obviously they show that they beast. Yeah. No, they, they, they played with a lot of hustle and confidence last night. I just wonder with A.D. and LeBron, although they was pseudo-coaching and helping out on, on their end of the floor when they was out there, when they come back, do they feel like they got to, here, man, you go, yeah. instead of just doing what they do? And, and that's up to Darwin Ham to make sure that he instills a, a rotation yep. in there that will allow them to be who they are and what we saw last night, yeah. opposed to what we've been seeing, which is, depending on LeBron James and Anthony Davis Everything. to get us across the finish line. He, he's got to see that and understand that, and his staff has to say, when they're on the floor, this is what's happening. When they're not on the floor, this is what should happen. Yeah. It's just a lot, man. It's a lot for those guys. Like I said, they carry the LeBron mantle they, because they, there's so much riding on it. LeBron is pressing on everybody. You're saying, let's have fun like you guys had fun last night, which is a – which is a hard thing. And we've given, given LeBron a lot of credit for being the great leader that he is. And I have to say that I don't know if Jordan can lead like LeBron. 
But may, maybe there is some of that Jordan and LeBron. Maybe he's yes, putting he too much pressure on these guys, and they need <laughs> to have a little more fun, like I saw them have last night mm. with that effort. No, but that was a different effort last night. Yeah. Oh, thank you, By the way, quick update. Thank Rich you, Paul just yeah. told ESPN that because of that hourglass emoji that yeah. LeBron tweeted where the yeah. sand had run almost, you, you thought, right. almost out. I, it looked like it was all out that there is some speculation that he wants to be traded or, or will be traded at the deadline. And Rich Paul told ESPN, LeBron will not be traded and we are, will, are not asking to be traded, just for the record. So just to quell the, the, the friendship. No, not, not asking to be traded is different than, yeah. than them trading you. Oh, yeah. Just because they see something different in the future. I'm sure he's got a no trade. Right, so right, I'm right, sure yeah, he yeah. probably yeah. does. You're going to have to talk to him out of respect. But if he yeah. doesn't have a no trade, in there, and there's no telling what they think. There's just no telling. I wouldn't do it. I don't know. What the I wouldn't do it. Is. Not at all. I don't okay. know what the tweet was about. I don't know. I thought. I well, thought. I think Brian really meant to tweet the, sh the wine glass. <laughs> he was he <laughs> yeah. accidentally hit the wrong tweet one. The hourglass. But is it, is it time <laughs> running out on, on on somebody that's in the locker room? Is he, is the, the coach? The coach? Is that that's what I'm saying? Is, is he tweeting that? Yeah. yeah. But the Lakers, though, they don't. That's the Lakers. Yeah, they, they don't, yeah, yeah, they don't sit around and mess around. Mm. They're not going to do it in season. Yeah. We only got 40 games to go, right? So they're not going to do it in yeah. season. It'll be done at the end of the season if they do anything I at all. It was a, I think it was just a message to the team. Yeah, it was, a, it was a message. We yeah. don't know if it was to the team or who. Yeah. Yeah. It was a message for sure. Okay, so trade deadline coming up. Would you trade Austin Reeves for DeJounte Murray? No. No. Are you sold on Austin as a cog in, in a championship team? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So am I. Yeah. I not, Keyshawn is hearing from other NBA voices not sure about Austin Well, you're going to get some defense. Yeah. Right? DeJounte's a better defender, you're, you're no doubt. you get some defense. No what, doubt. Have they, what have prior to last night been one of the main complaints? That. Is that they don't play defense. Yeah. They've given up 140 some points here, 130 there. I mean, that's been one of the things. We like Austin Reeves because it's a good story. It looks cool. But, it's, but it's not the guy. just a good story. Right. No, it's, it's a good story. Balling. It's a good, it's a good balling. story. Austin be balling. No, he and he balling. sees the game like LeBron he, he sees does. it. That's he's what LeBron bingo. wants yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah. LeBron what, wants somebody. Yeah. When I'm sitting down, yeah, I can right. trust he sees the game like I see Now, here's what I'm going to say. That's what LeBron James wanted. Okay? That's what he wanted. Meaning, like, he wanted that. He wanted it to such due time that he does not want it. He also wanted uh, uh, Russell Westbrook <laughs> until he, he didn't did. want Russell Westbrook. Yeah. That's what that, that yeah. I get it. But when yeah, but, you trying to get to somewhere. But, but a Russell Westbrook, you can see his skill set and think you can handle his percent. Yeah. And when you get no, there, Russ, Russ says, I know you're LeBron, but I don't care. I'm Russ, and I do what I yeah, do. Yeah, but but see, he's not gonna get LeBron, that issue out of Austin. LeBron, but it ain't, it ain't going the there. issue he you worried about. You know what about. I mean? The issue he worried about is trying to win another championship. And if right. there's somebody out there in the universe that makes sense to help him win the championship, you best believe LeBron gonna. You see, that's just, keep you it moving. That's just, I, I believe him. I, but, I, I, but, but I don't know if that's the only. Piece I believe. Here, he, you know? I, I believe he's more. I believe he's more after wins than friends. If that's what we're saying, gotcha. there's no doubt yeah. about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I believe that he still see Austin Reeves as as part of the wins. wins. Yeah, and, not just until the he see something different. Now it ain't just Murray. It might be okay. Murray. Might just, just be a voice. Anybody. Something different gonna have to be cold. I, I get it. Gotta be cold. I get Austin it. Cold. I well. Cold. He cold. I like him. I he don't cold. dislike him. I like him. I think you kind of dislike him. No, I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm scared. But if I can dislike. go get something, yeah. if I can go get something but like what? in Brock return Purdy. that makes sense. He's like a Brock Purdy to me right now. Mm -hmm. Deuces, man. He's a Brock Purdy. Deuces. That's if I can go Brock get something Purdy that makes what? sense. What, 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 what do you want? You want more athletic ability? Well, I need some defense. You, you, you want, right. I need some defense. He want. a yamming on you. I need a little bit of scoring, but I mainly need some defense. Scoring, he was. A little bit of scoring. So, no, I'm saying if I'm going to get something. Does that mean I can get a Murray and I go get me another shooter? Gotcha. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. They, they, we're not saying one for right. one. But, uh, they, it's going to be something else in the package. Okay. Just okay. trust me yeah, when I tell you this playmaker. LeBron loves him. He yeah. does it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you. real quick, you took a bold stance earlier this year about let's trade Anthony Davis. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, because I liked it. I was with you on it. Do you still feel that as, as the deadline's approaching? 
Has he won back some of your of course, belief? Man. Of course, yeah. and also now that you know, you, say, so you get the you see what the league you see you see where the league is at right now, and uh, ain't nobody ain't nobody you can't get nobody for him. That's going to replace what yeah. he can do. And there's nobody out there like well, that. When he's right, get, he is right. Get your pitch. You can yeah. <laughs> get your kid. Yeah, you can't okay. do that. So. He's going to keep it for the offseason. Wayne ain't going to trade him. He's going to trade him off season. <laughs> yeah. Keep him for now. All right, <laughs> up next. Cliff Kingsbury to the Raiders with our man Antonio. Really? We discuss. I like Cliff Kingsbury, and I also like his offense. I, also, I mean... I've been told by professionals that it, it doesn't <laughs> work. It doesn't yep. work in the NFL too, too <laughs> Somebody much. Somebody just said that but, in the break. Yeah. But also, I know AP. You know, yeah. and I know AP. And I, I believe him and AP are going to work well together. Yeah. So, yeah, I give it an A. You, you use my name. I said it. <laughs> I, I'm, not a fan, I'm not a fan of the air raid at yeah. all, especially at the professional level. Yeah. But because of AP and because of Marvin Lewis, who's joining the staff as the assistant head coach, like they could push back on throwing the throwing it all over the lot. They're yeah. gonna run the football. That's you true. best believe I, I buy that. They gotta run right. the football. I think that's what Wayne's saying. It's a right. good blend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. And that's what yeah. we were talking about in the break also. I was telling him how Houston Houston used to spread that thing out, boy, hand that ball off to Low White, and it was like, oh, my God, the Houston Oilers. Now, yep. I believe that's what they will do because AP's going to make sure that Cliff knows his offense will run through Josh Jacobs. Mm. It, no, no doubt about it. Yeah. We're building that old Raider thing. His offense will run through and Josh Jacobs. And if you're a smart OC, Skip, he'll be able to make the adjustments. He will. And can yeah, you imagine, yeah. can you know, imagine yeah. a light box with J Josh oh. Jacobs running the ball? It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh, that's yeah. scary. I know Cliff. He's been around. He's been through some wars. He's got some scar tissue where he's grown, you know, slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. he, he's bringing a lot of experience. Mm -hmm to Antonio Pierce. I think it's a good blend of yeah. fire and ice. I'm glad, you know? glad though, he, yeah. he brought in Marvin, La Mar Marvin Lewis. Just to be, yeah, yeah. be his advisor. That's it for today's Undisputed. We are back Monday at 9.30 Eastern. And I can't wait. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.